guys, what's going on? Megan here. I want to talk to you guys about um, uh, growth hormone and alkalinity, right? Uh, doctors have found out, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not anything new, uh, that the North American diet is high in acidic foods, right? We eat a lot of carbohydrates, a lot of foods and blood that are mainly acidic on the chart. Uh, in case you guys are not aware, you know, your body, from chemistry class, you know, you have uh, alka alkalinity and you have acidity, right? Um, the closer you, you want to be, you know, in the middle, you know, in like the balance between 6.5 and 7 point, you know, 3, something like that. And um, most, if you're North America or you eat a North American diet, your foods are very acidic and um, you eat a lot of carbs, obviously, and that leads to a lot of issues like, you know, insulin resistance, uh, type 2 diabetes, blah, blah, blah. And as far as bodybuilding, it limits your growth, but you know, you're insulin resistant and, you know, you're going to store a lot of fat and it's going to be hard for your body to process glucose and shit like that. Uh, for yourself so uh the the remedy for that is um to eat more fruits and vegetables because a, a lot of fruits and vegetables have uh high alkaline content so it's going to balance out your blood ph i don't know if you ever took a, a, a ph uh urine sample of your piss in the morning i suggest everybody should do that to see where you stand you shouldn't be below 6.5 or below 6. a lot of us are below 6 because I, we, you know we highly say that you better eat fruits and vegetables now how's, how does that relate to bodybuilding well there's a there's a high correlation or high link between uh um high acidity in the blood and low growth hormone levels in the morning meaning if your your diet is high in um in acidic foods then in the morning your growth hormone you know if you take your test you realize that you your blood is very acidic your growth hormone levels are going to suffer right everyone that has high growth hormone levels uh burns a lot of fat everybody knows what growth hormone does what's my video on growth hormone see what it does uh but you're gonna build muscle a bit better you're gonna lose, also burn fat better um those who have high growth hormone levels uh have a, a nice balance in their blood right they eat a lot of alkaline uh high foods and those who have uh poor growth hormone levels right have high acidic levels and they find out that really it's not just like a correlation because it's your thing it's actually you know they're actually linked so increase the fruits and vegetables in your diet. I'm gonna put on the screen a, a reference to a, a doctor's website, great doctor, great, great source of information, and he explains to you the foods that you should eat to increase alkalinity. I'm gonna put that on the screen. Uh, try to get the foods on the left-hand side, right? The more, the, uh, like baking soda, uh, um, some nuts, mangoes, you know, all the foods on the left-hand side you really need. And the foods on the right-hand side, it doesn't mean you wanna cut off the foods on the, on the opposite, side of the spectrum but you want to limit them right remember it's all about balance the body just wants to be balanced right no not too many extremes if you too much acidic i would say try to back off from acidic foods for a while uh and it's going to increase your growth hormone levels you know even when you take the test you realize that your growth hormone levels uh become uh, more and more uh, elevated so and growth hormone, i'm gonna make a separate video showing you guys how growth hormone is also linked to my stat meaning the more growth hormone you have the least uh myostatin which is good for overall muscle growth all right guys hope this video helps team 3d combining pro science and science peace out